Coal is a black or brownish black sedimentary rock that is primarily composed of carbon, along with varying amounts of other elements such as hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen, and nitrogen. It is a fossil fuel, meaning it was formed from ancient plant, material that lived millions of years ago. But what are the steps of coal formation? And what are the different types of coal? Coal is formed from the remains of plants that lived and died millions of years ago, primarily during the Carboniferous period, around 300 to 360 million years ago. Coal formation occurs in a few steps. Plant accumulation is the first step of coal formation. During the Carboniferous period, large forests of trees, ferns, and other plants thrived in swampy regions. When these plants died, they fell into the swamp waters, where they accumulated over time. Formation of peat is the second step of coal formation. The dead plant material did not fully decay due to the waterlogged, oxygen-poor conditions of the swamps. Instead, it formed a dense, spongy layer of organic material known as peat. Burial and compaction is the next step of coal formation. Over millions of years, layers of sediment, such as sand, silt, and clay, accumulated on top of the peat. The weight of these overlying sediments compressed the peat, squeezing out water and gases and increasing the carbon content of the material. The last step of coal formation is coalification. As the peat was buried deeper, it was subjected to increasing temperatures and pressures, which gradually transformed it into coal through a process called coalification. This process occurs in stages, leading to different types of coal. Oh, also known as brown coal, lignite is the lowest grade of coal and has the lowest carbon content. O sub bituminous coal is the type of coal formed as lignite undergoes further pressure and heat, increasing its carbon content. O further heat and pressure convert sub bituminous coal into bituminous coal, which is denser and has a higher carbon content. Oh, the highest grade of coal, anthracite, is formed under extreme pressure and temperature, resulting in a hard, shiny coal with a high carbon content and energy output. Over millions of years, geological processes such as tectonic movements can bring coal seams closer to the Earth's surface, making them accessible for mining. Depending on the depth, coal can be mined using surface, open pit, mining or underground mining techniques. Before continuing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. This way we can continue to make new videos for you. Coal is classified into several types based on its carbon content, energy potential, and other physical and chemical properties. Lignite is also known as brown coal. It is the softest and lowest rank of coal. It contains the least amount of carbon, 25 to 35 percent, and the most moisture, it is used primarily for electricity generation. Sub-bituminous coal has higher carbon content than lignite, 35 to 45 percent. It has lower moisture content and it is used in electricity generation and industrial processes. Bituminous coal is another type of coal. It has higher carbon content, 45 to 86 percent. It is denser and more energy-rich and it is commonly used in electricity generation, steel production, and industrial processes. Anthracite has the, the highest rank of coal. It contains 86 to 97 percent of carbon. It is hard, shiny, and burns cleanly with a high energy output. It is used in residential heating, industrial processes, and metallurgical applications. Coal has many applications such as electricity generation. Coal is burned in power plants to produce steam, which drives turbines to generate electricity. Coal, specifically in the form of coke, a coal derivative, is used in blast furnaces to convert iron ore into steel. Coal is used as a fuel in various industrial processes, including cement production, paper manufacturing, and chemical production. In some regions, coal is used as a heating fuel in homes. Coal burning releases significant amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. It also emits pollutants like sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter, which can cause air pollution and health problems. 
As a result, there has been a global shift towards cleaner energy sources, such as natural gas, wind, solar, and nuclear power. If you liked the video, leave your like, and don't forget to subscribe. This is really important so we can make more videos for you.